enough of that. I had better get you to the main gates right away. Let us be quick. As you arrive, you see the herald, Enavid, speaking with a man in a priestly raiment. We have driven off the last of them. Do you think they will come again? If their leader still lives, there are enough of them to regroup and return. Hopefully, Yenna has taken care of that for us. For if not, it will only be a matter of time before they return. We have killed enough of them that it should give them pause. We should have a little time to recuperate. I just hope it is enough. If Pharos, Lord of Battles, judges us worthy, we shall continue. I wish the banner yet lived. So do I, Dinskal. So do I. The Keep needs a strong leader. Perhaps it is time I assumed the role of Banner, though the timing strikes fear into my very soul. My lady, we are all saddened by the Banner's death, but might I introduce someone who brings hope? We welcome any relief in this war, even if it is just a temporary respite. Tell us, Dylan, who is this one who stands before us? I am Tarantula Nightblade, the rogue at your service. Enavid eyes you warily. It was good of you to come to our aid. As a hand, an officer of the Keep of Cyan, I welcome you. So, Enavid, once more your incompetence has led to the death of more of our valiant defenders. With the banner dead, we are in sore need of a true ruler. As I was saying, Sir Beckett, I am the highest ranking officer here in the Keep. My dear, do you really think that people would settle for a poor orphan as the Lord of the Keep? Lord? I did not think we were... That is all right, my dear. No one expects you to actually think. Don't be rude to the lady. Enavid smiles at you while Sir Beckett raises an eyebrow in your direction. And who is this presumptuous fool? This fool is a hero. The fool saved at our keep in the past night's battle while you kept to your nice safe mansion. Enavid smiles again. Your cowardly actions and your rude demeanor do not bode well for a political campaign. Sir Beckett flushes red, then turns to you. I apologize, sir. Apology accepted, but keep a civil tongue. I shall try to do so. Now, if we may get back to the topic at hand. Everyone knows that our late banner was next in line to become lord, yet he refused that honor. Now that he is gone, it is time we truly had a new Lord of the Keep. And I suppose you think you should be our mighty ruler. Well, I am part of the nobility, and I am soon to marry the highest-ranked noble in our lands, Lady Elysia, so I think I deserve to be considered. Who chooses the new ruler? The nobles have always ruled here. Not any more. This is something the guild leaders have discussed, and with the exception of your betrothed, we agreed that the guilds would ch should choose the next lord or lady of the keep. That would be fair. Then even the nobles will have a say in it. I see nothing fair about it. The banner was... Well, I should not speak ill of the dead, but the guilds should never have been allowed to gain so much power. What are the guilds? There are nine guilds in the city, including one for the nobles. The guildmasters make most of the decisions that affect the daily operations of the keep. So Enavid and Sir Beckett shall make their appeals before the guildmasters, and then they will vote to decide the leader. I see. The keep won't truly be safe until we have a strong leader who can defend destroy the invaders, not just drive them off or hide behind these walls. Why are we limited to those two as our only choices? What if we want a real hero as our lord? And where precisely are we going to find a real hero? This young man saved our lives. Right place, right time, but does that not make him a hero? Your weapon speaks in your voice. This is the moment. Though none realize it, I have been at work in the keep to prepare people for this election. They will feel more comfortable around you than they would have. You will have to work to gain votes, but they will open be open to voting for you once you do something for them. Besides, we know nothing about him. Tarantula might not be even be interested in staying here at our keep. Mm. 
it would be an honor. As Tarantula has never met the Guildmasters and is not well known in the keep, we will postpone the guild vote for several days. Very well. I am sure I can use that time well. I shall go and begin campaigning right now. I am sure you have many questions, Tarantula, but I must get word of this to all the other Guildmasters. I will ask Elias to be your guide during the time of the election. I shall send her here to meet you. Please come and see me at the temple when you get a chance. Tarantula, you deserve a reward for your efforts in helping the keep. I would like you to take this. It's my old crossbow and bolts. Both are magical, so you can either sell them or use them. I need to arrange for funeral rites for the banner. Then I suppose I have to do my best to counteract all the deception Sir Beckett will be trying, not to mention my duties as the hand. Why do you think Sir Beckett will be deceptive? Sir Beckett is a serpent waiting in the grass to strike at his opponents. He has no honor, and his lack of scruples will give him some advantage in manipulating the vote. That is the only chance he has to win this election. I will do my best to stop him. Who is Alias? Alias... Alias... Elias? Alias is our local scout. She, like me, is an orphan. You will find many of the people here at the Keep have lost loved ones. Ah, here comes Elias now. She can answer any questions you might have. I shall be going now. May the best person win. Now things are proceeding in most excellent fashion. Keep up the good work and you shall become one of the most powerful people in all of Valrotha. Your weapon's voice seems most pleased with you. I know you must have questions, but I am only allowed to tell you a little. I will tell you the most important thing right now, though. All of the clues to answer your questions lie within the keep, or in the caves nearby. So what is my ultimate goal here? Protect the keep. Become its lord. Destroy the masked man's forces before they can regroup. I know you probably do not trust me yet, but I am on your side. So I have to figure this out on my own. I might give you a hint once in a while, but for the most part you will need to exercise that brain of yours. I know you have one hidden somewhere in that thick skull. Well, let's get going then. Good idea. Let us see what you can find out here. Elias is a cute young woman with a perpetual smirk and a twinkle in her eye. Good day. When I was told to help you, I quickly sketched a map to the keep. There you go. I also know my way around the countryside and some of the caves as I am one of the local scouts. I am proud to be working with a hero such as yourself. I will do all I can to help you attain lordship of the keep. My first suggestion is that you visit the guildmasters. Do you have any questions for me? Tell me about yourself. You want to know about me? I'm not really that exciting, I'm afraid. My Aunt Sarah is a guildmaster, which is as close to fame as I get. What do you want to know about me? How did you become a scout? I was just born to it, I think. Even when I was only ten and my father was still around, I would, I would wander outside the keep by myself. I would get in a lot of trouble for doing that, so I learned how not to get caught. That skill has saved my life many times over the years. Once I reached an age where people started taking me seriously, I spoke to the banner, and he allowed me to prove myself and join the guard. Where'd you get your name? She blushes lightly. It's more of a childhood nickname. I was always pretending to be a spy, and I would tell people, That's not my name, my alias is... And then I would use a word I liked. Alias Nefarious, alias Rogue, alias Insidious. All of the largest or most colorful words I could find. People gave up trying to remember them and just decided to call me Alias. What's your real name? She hesitates. I really don't like it. I much prefer Alias, please. You can trust me. She looks down at her feet, scuffing the dirt, then mumbles, Bertha Blackhand. There is nothing wrong with that name. You are a liar, but thank you. I won't answer to it, though, so don't even try. I am Alias. Even my father calls me that. Let's talk about something else. That would be good. What do you like to know? Tell me about the Guildmasters. There are nine guilds, each headed by a man or woman who is outstanding in their specialty. For example, my Aunt Sarah is the Guildmaster of the Landowners. She owns some of the most productive farmlands in the area. I'll tell you right now that if you prove yourself by destroying some of the monstrous army that attacked us, she would likely vote for you. She always favors deeds over words, so along with my recommendations, I'm sure you will have her vote. 
The rest of the guildmasters are a different story, but you'll manage. All you need is time. Tell me more about your Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah is a very earthly woman. She has lands just outside the town. She has been asking for help from the military guard guild for almost a year now. There is a cave on her property that some goblins moved into. Unfortunately, the military has been weak since Lord Kendrick left with most of our army. Goblins, time to curse some skulls, Tarantula. We shall revel in their destruction and win the hearts of these people, you and I. I would free the land of these creatures, even if it, even if it is to help a farmer. Goblins are a foul abomination and horribly ugly. Not that I am one to speak. If you are willing to get rid of the goblins for her, I'm sure Aunt Sarah would support your cause. I can even lead you to the caves myself. Buying time. Alaysa's Aunt Sarah is the landowner's guildmaster. A cave of her property has been overrun by masked goblins from the masked forces, and I have been asked to destroy them and bring them back to the chieftain's head. Doing so will not only buy me a vote in the election, but Sarah can also tell the stall the election until I have enough votes to win. Oh, I am now involved in the election to keep become the ruler of the keep. I will need to speak to the various guild messes and see if I can convince enough of them to vote for me. Shouldn't we talk to her first? Aunt Sarah is a woman with actions over words. If you do the job for her, then speak to her. She'll be more impressed. Uh, not yet. I suppose there are probably things you need to do first. Did you have other questions? Explain the election process to me. The nine guild masters will meet in the castle where they will cast each will each cast a stone, a different color for each of the contestants. The person with the most votes wins. So you need at least four votes with no other opponents getting more than three. You have chosen the most difficult path, but it is certainly has the greatest reward. Oh, and I should tell you, the more votes you get, the more secure your position will be, but don't try to get them all or people will become suspicious. Just a suggestion. More questions about politics. I will do my best, though. Politics are not one of my strengths. The most important thing you need is time to get votes over your companions. What would you like to know? What's so important about time? If the election were held right now, you would lose. People would get to know you, to trust you. They would follow Inavid because they know and respect her. They might follow Sir Beckett because he has, he has had time to fool some and control others. You are the wild card. You really need time. Talk about politics. Tell me about my competitors. Enevid would seem to be the obvious choice to become Lady of the Keep, but she has alienated a lot of us. Her strict rules and obsession with order have caused many hard feelings. Truth is, I think she scares people. Nobody can really love to live up to her ideals, so they are nervous around her, waiting to be judged. Having said that, the gods would know you couldn't be much worse than Sir Beckett. What's wrong with Sir Beckett? Sir Beckett is a corrupt, craving coward. He will drain the resources of the keep and flee the next time we are attacked. Do you have ev evidence of this? No, I only have what I see in here, but I am a scout. Those are the senses that keep me alive. All my instincts tell me that he is a monster. You must be better than him. More about politics? The other guild masters. I really don't pay much attention to politics. I try to spend as much time outside and keep outside the keep as possible. The best person to ask is probably Mama Dane. She spends most of her time helping others in the keep and loves to talk. I'm sure she would love to tell you what you want to know. She is usually in the marketplace where people can easily find her if they need help. Let's uh, talk about something else. Uh, goodbye. Good luck. Come see me if you want to if you like to guard, guard to take you outside the city. I will stay by the fountain in the market square until you need me. Okay. And time is... Th it may be a mistake to be reading all of this out, because time is evidently a factor. But I did make enough to level up, so let's go back to Rogue. So, with ten remaining skill points, and I missed a level, so I'm going to want to go ahead and pick five, essentially, I guess. Tumble, search, and disable. Oh, hide, 
Yeah, the the core rogue skills. That's gonna be it, huh? Uh, search and disable. Hide, move silently, and tumble. Okay, and then I'm gonna need mobility, and I get evasion. Okay. Already you have started back up the road to success. As you grow in power, so too do I. Your weapon sounds in the triumphant, if slightly off-key fanfare in your mind. As this is the first time you have increased in power, I shall draw upon your energies to increase my effectiveness as a fighting weapon. After this, I shall allow you to choose effects that you would like to add to me. Uh, interesting. So, take a quick look. Enhancement bonus plus three now. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to leave off uh, for today. I've been going for a while. Uh, I wanted to stop as soon as I hit the city, but then there was exposition, and I didn't want to cut them off. So here's where I will save it and pick it up next time. Uh, let's see. Empty slot. Okay, see you next time.